Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold, presented by Emily Polkov and Shelby Orfield. Born December 24, 1822, Matthew Arnold came into the world with a God-given talent of writing poetry. After acquiring the position of a government school inspector, Arnold picked up an interest in education and soon began work as a professor of poetry at Oxford. As the 19th century was a revolutionary time for the world of poetry, Matthew Arnold encompassed the ideas of the modern consciousness. The meditative nature of Arnold's poems amplified his problems with psychological isolation and gave insight to the poet's personal life. Arnold constantly stepped over the line when discussing religious skepticism and human spirituality, but these simple ideas attracted readers from all over the world and is the reason that Arnold's legacy lives on today. Matthew Arnold's Dover Beach provokes loneliness and emptiness through the use of imagery and personification in nature. A poem of human misery, Dover Beach compares personal despair with the natural qualities of the ocean. For example, Arnold analyzes the grating roar of pebbles which the waves draw back and fling, as the ocean brings the eternal note of sadness in during the first stanza. Before Arnold's poetry, the majority of the population relied on joyful and uplifting readings to satisfy their wants. However, with poems like Dover Beach, the author tackles the opposite feelings, like pain, despair, and agony. Though many people like to avoid these depressing thoughts, reading poems like these help the audience feel less alone, which is the main purpose of Dover Beach. Throughout Dover Beach, the basic meter used is iambic, meaning most groups have two syllables where the first syllable is weak and the second is strong or stressed. Most of the poem follows this form, but some lines stray from this concept. For example, in the fourth stanza, Arnold writes, Hath really neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain, which follows the iambic form, but also writes, slept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, which does not. In addition, Dover Beach does not follow a consistent rhyme scheme. Rather, it embodies a free verse poem with rhyming throughout. By not following the traditional method of writing poems, Arnold embraces the free will of using an alternate approach. Furthermore, Arnold intentionally gives the poem a slow rhythm in order to set the tone. Reading the poem aloud, so as to hear its rhythm, gives the reader a better understanding of the author's mood while writing.